Freddy, Freddy, Orozco says, bro, BCH took off without me. Yeah, I took off without me too. Damn, uh, BCH USDT. We were anticipating a potential, uh, you know, maybe a squeeze or wave E or something like that. A, B, C, and then we just broke out. like, bro, bro. Yeah, sometimes you don't get a D and E. Sometimes it just spikes up. And look at the volume uh, that came in. Crazy, insane amounts of volume. So could we be close to the top? Again, I'm not too sure myself. Uh, I kind of like what I see. Uh, and I'm going to assume that this is a wave one. Definitely, more likely than not, we will see a wave two. So we have to be patient and wait for the wave two to come. Um, so yeah, th because the thing about Bitcoin Cash is we're very close to taking out these lows. Because if we take out these lows, this will no longer be a squeeze, right? It's no longer going to be a valid squeeze. But eventually, we got a valid squeeze and we broke out. The only thing is that this was three waves and then we're out, right? You may argue there's a D and E wave, but I don't think so. Yeah, so again, uh, we're just going to have to, you know, skip fast forward uh, to where we are right now. Wave one, we miss it. Doesn't really matter because as a trader, you normally want to look for a wave three because one, two, three, four, five, when things uh, rise up impulsively towards the upside, um, there are five waves, more likely than not. Uh, and so usually, usually as a trader, wave one carries a high amount of risk. Wave two would be the opportunity for us to make an entry. Uh, and normally uh, traders would just look for uh, wave threes and then you take a trade for wave three. In, out, that's it. And sometimes uh, wave 5 is visible, sometimes it's not. Uh, the reason why you want to trade wave 3, only wave 3, is because you don't know uh, what kind of a wave 4 you're going to get. Sometimes it's a very deep type of a wave 4 before we get a very, you know, just a short higher high before we start correcting again, right? So if this happens, that's why it's very important uh, to secure your profit, you know, as we go along. Uh, because, yeah, like I was saying, if we were to retrace all the way back down, where the top of uh, wave one is, uh, yeah, you, you don't want to take the whole trip down, right? So yeah, that's why it's very important uh, to secure your profits as you go along and to be able to recognize the chart patterns as they go higher, right? Um, for someone who just aped into Bitcoin Cash, let's say at $300, is this very high risk? Yes. Sure, uh, we're expecting a retrace. And sure, uh, eventually uh, we could hit higher, but wouldn't it be awesome uh, if you could uh, buy it at a lower price you know maybe it drops back down to 200 dollars is there a possibility it drops down to like i don't know 170 160 again yeah sure uh, in case i mean instead of buying it over here uh, you could be buying it like 35 percent cheaper right instead of buying let's say 10 bitcoin cash um, uh, at the bottom at the top you can only buy like six bitcoin cash six or seven bitcoin cash at the bottom, you could buy 10. At the top, you could buy 6 or 7. So you see that? Um, yeah, so that is, the, that is our strategy moving forward. We're waiting for that with 2 to come along. I hope that answers um, your worries, if you have any worries.